Do you want your system to arm automatically based on time and presence? Stay tuned. Hello people and welcome to another episode of Everyday Smart. Today we're going to be showing how you can get your house armed automatically at a certain time if it is not armed already. So for example, in my case, I want the system to verify if my house is armed every time at 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, and 3 in the morning. So if at any of those times the system finds that the house is not armed, it's going to arm it automatically. But again, only if it's not armed already. We're going to be creating this automation using Habitat Elevation. And the app that we're going to be using is Rule Machine. So make sure you have it installed already. Let's get to it. So click on Rule Machine. Click on create new rule, give it a name. In my case, I'm going to call it arm at night if disarmed. Click on select your trigger events. Click on select capability for new event trigger. And the capability for this trigger that we want is time. So let's look for certain time. Looking at a certain time and I want the option for a specific time so leave this specific time option selected and then type your time. In my case the first time I want is 9 p.m. so type that there click done and that's it for that trigger event so click done with this trigger event now I'm going to be setting all the additional times that I want for triggers in this case. So you go ahead and select whichever times you want for this rule. Okay, so now I'm done creating all the triggers for all the different times that I want for this rule. So now that I have all of those different times and different triggers created, click on done with trigger events. Now click on select actions to run. So in my case, I want to arm my house and depending if I'm at the house or not, I want to arm it with a specific arm state, so we're going to need a condition for that. But additionally, we also want a condition for verifying if the house is disarmed. Because remember, if the house is armed already, we don't want to change that arm state that we already have. We only want to arm it in a certain state only if the house is disarmed. So let's click on select action type to add, click on conditional action. Click on select which action and select the if condition then. Click on define condition and this is going to be a new condition. So click on new condition. Click on select capability for the condition. And the first capability that we want is the HSM status. So click on HSM status. And under the HSM status is we want disarm. So click done with this condition. Now we want to add to this condition because that's not the only thing that we want to check for. So click here and select and click on new condition. This additional condition that I want is presence. I want to see if I'm at home. So click on presence, select the presence sensor. In my case, I'm going to select my phone, click update. And the present state that we want is present in this case. So click done with this condition. Click done with conditional action. And now let's add the first action. So click on select action type to add. Click on control HSM. On select which action, select arm disarm habitat safety monitor. 
and then on Arm Disarm's Habitat Safety Monitor, if HSM status is disarmed and I'm present, I want the house to be Arm Knight. So select Arm Knight and click Done with this action. Now we want to add the other condition. So select Action Type to Add, Conditional Action. Select which action you want to select the else if conditions then. The first condition for this new set of conditions is going to be the same one. HSM status is disarmed, so select it. And now you want to add to that condition, so click here and select and. And then for this additional condition is going to be a new condition, so select new condition. And the capability for this condition is going to be presence as well. So click on presence, select your presence sensor. Again, it's going to be my phone, click update. And for the present state in this case, I want to select not present because this is for when I'm not home. Click on done with this condition. Click done with conditional action. Click on select action type to add to add the final action. Click on control HSM. On select which action, click on arm disarm habitat safety monitor. And on arm disarm habitat safety monitor, click on arm away. So in this case, if the house is disarmed and I'm not present, then I want the system to be arm away automatically. Click done with this action. Now let's finish the rule by closing the condition. So click on select action type to add, click conditional action, click on select which action and select end if. Click done with this action. And that's it for the action. So click on done with actions. And there you have it. This is the rule. This is a little bit more advanced rule, but it's kind of intermediate. These are all the trigger events that we have. So this rule is going to be triggered at all of those times. So several times I want to make sure that my system is always armed when it needs to be armed. So at all of those times, every time that the rule is triggered, this rule is going to check if the house is disarmed. If it is not disarmed, then it's not going to do anything. But if it is disarmed, then it's going to check if I'm present. If I'm present, it's going to arm at night. If I'm not pressing, it's going to arm it away. So that's it for creating the rule. So click on done. Now your rule is created and it should appear under your rule machine section. If you like this video, please hit like, please subscribe to my channel. Please click on the bell icon so you don't miss any of the future videos that I'm going to be making for you guys. Well, now that we created the rule, let's check it out.